requested video. Many of you guys have been asking me, where are your beauty aunties, Camilla? We haven't seen them in forever and that is so freaking true, but I promise you guys, I've saved all of my beauty trash just to show you guys. So, if you don't know these kinds of videos, I'm gonna show you all of the beauty aunties that I've got and what I've been using up lately and I'm gonna give you some small minor reviews about all the different products and tell you if I wanted to buy them again or not. So without further ado, let's get into this one because as you can see, there's a lot. And um, the first thing that I just want to share with you is actually the tan that I've been using, the fake tan. And so many of you guys have been asking me literally every single day about me doing a fake tan routine or something like that. And to be very honest, I haven't done one because I'm not too happy with the fake tan that I've been using because I feel like it's very, very, I don't know, very stripping on the skin. My skin has been really, really dry due to me using this one. But it is the Dawn Spa Competition Color Sun Tan Brown Formula. This is a tan specially made for dancers who are doing competitive dancing and stuff like that. And as I said, it is very, very drying on the skin. So I definitely wouldn't recommend it for you guys who just want to use it on an everyday basis because it is very, very stripping and very drying as well. So. Yeah, would I recommend it? Probably not unless you're a dancer because this one stays on for such a long time. However, it doesn't really wear off that beautifully either. It does go very, very, I don't know, just very fake tannish during the last couple of days you're wearing it. So it doesn't wear off too nicely, but it really stays on for a long, long time. And it is sweat proof and waterproof and so on. So it is good, just not for everyday use. And to be fairly honest, I probably wouldn't buy it again because it is way too drying on the skin. The next thing that I want to share with you is definitely something that I would recommend and buy again. It is from Shumura. It is the Ultimate Remedy Extreme Restoration Shampoo for Ultra Damaged Hair. And this is so good. As you know, I am in love with Shumura's hair cat stuff and so on and I just love this one. This has been so good for my hair, especially because I am color treating my hair. I am getting highlights, blonde highlights in it, so obviously I need to take good care of my hair. And this one is amazing for that job and I would definitely buy it again because it is amazeballs. Next up, something from the body shop. This is the Virgin Mojito Body Soap Bay. The reason why I love this one so much is definitely because of the scent. The scent is so freaking refreshing. It reminds me of summer, everything nice and just... Mm, I'm really not into that minty flavor or anything like that, but this one... I love it. Seriously, just smelling it, it's just like... <laughs> it's not like deep moisture you get from it, it's just much more light. And if you do have normal skin, this is definitely more than enough hydration for you. It dries in really, really quickly. Would I buy it again? Yes, because I absolutely love the scent. However, I do think it was a limited edition scent. So I'm not sure if you can get it still, but oh my gosh, the smell. I loved it. Next, I've got two beauty blenders because these are totally done now. They are starting to crack and just go weird and funky and they're kind of difficult for me to clean as well. So they're going out, they're not good anymore. Yeah, they smell kind of funky. When your beauty blender starts smelling funky, you have to throw it out definitely. And when they start to get really, really weird and not as spongy and just, yeah, gross, throw them out. Next thing here is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Sand Sable and this one has lasted me since um, my vacation to the US and it is only like the last couple of months that I've started using this one for real and I love it. It is such a great concealer. It's got a medium, medium coverage I would say but it just looks so natural. It's just like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer however I feel like this one is a bit more less cakey on the skin if you get what I mean and I just really really enjoyed using this one. I will definitely be buying this one again. I loved it. I want it back. I don't want it to end. I've used up one more of the, the Benefit Professional Primers. These are some of my favorite primers of all time. If you do have oily skin or struggle with some open pores or anything like that, this is such a great primer. It really smooths out the skin and makes you look so much more perfect in photos as well. I just really like it. It's oil free, lightweight and translucent and just really, really nice. I can highly recommend it. And I've already got a new one, so you've been good. It's time to say goodbye. Next, we've got some Nivea Happy Time, Happy Time <laughs> um, shower cream with carrying bamboo milk and uplifting scent of orange blossom. And this 
smelled so good. However, I think the next time that I'm gonna buy something, I'm not gonna buy it in such a big tube because I did get pretty tired of using the same shower gel, if I must be honest, and it honestly didn't do too many things for my skin. It just made me smell nice and yeah, cleansed my skin and my body and so on. So it's nothing special, but I really did like the scent. So I would probably buy it again, just not in this big tube. What have we got? We've got the Batiste Dry Shampoo, the Eden Sugar Melon and Honeysuckle scent. This is by far my favorite scent ever when it comes to dry shampoos. I know I'm always talking about the fruity and cheeky cherry one, but this one I loved even more. Can I get something out? Oh yeah. Mmm. -hmm. It seriously smells so refreshing. I really, really like it. And it is for all hair types and it just obviously cleansed my hair and made it look not as greasy and you know how dry shampoos work. And the Batiste dry shampoos are really, really good. So I highly recommend it. This was a limited edition, unfortunately, but I will keep using my Fruity and Cheeky Cherry scent. Some more fake tan that I also won't really recommend unless you are a dancer and you're doing competitive dancing. These are from Dance Cuts and these are the Super Brown Classic, a perfect performance professional self tan liquid. And these are for intensive tanning and they are waterproof as well. And they are very, very, very intense. However, I really like these because they give you the most beautiful like olive tan, which I really like. So if you are a competitive dancer and you need some long lasting tan, these are definitely great. However, if you're just looking for a normal everyday tan, once again, these are way, way, way too drying on the skin. So I won't recommend it for everyday wear, but for competition wear or anything like that, these are amazing. And I'll actually try to leave links to all of the products down below if you're interested in buying them. And the next product, I've probably got way too many. You already know what I'm talking about, right? I've got three Nivea in shower body lotions to share with you and these are just a staple in my product empties because I use them every single day when I shower. And these are, as I said, a moisturizer that you use while you're in the shower and then you just rinse it off and your body is good to go. It's moisturized, lovely, everything good. Do they really work that nicely? I'm not sure. However, I don't feel like that my skin is dry or anything like that. I don't have dry patches, so in some kind of a way, they must work, right? And this one is the um, honey scented one, the Pampering Honey, which is for normal to dry skin. I like this one. However, my favorite scent is definitely the cocoa butter thing. And this is also for normal to dry skin. So these are amazing. And I do feel like that I can recommend these because they keep my body moisturized and I don't have any dry patches and so on. So they're good and they smell amazing as well. Let's get rid of the boring stuff. I've used up some of the Satin Balance cotton pads. These are the maxi cotton pads. You get 50 in each package. Whoops. <laughs> and they're totally fine. There's nothing wrong with them and I like them. So I've used up several of these. And they're actually on an offer right now in 36, I think, for around 20 Danish Krona for two packages, which is very inexpensive. And I've also used up some Q-tips from um, Satin Balance. So once again, they're totally fine. They're just plain normal Q-tips and you get 200 in this package and it lasted me for quite a long time, so that was fine. Then I've got one of the Clinique Mal Clarifying Lotions and I actually really like this lotion or toner, whatever you like to call it. And I feel like that it really keeps my skin moisturized and hydrated and it's not too stripping on my skin either. It's very, very nice on my skin and it's also made for sensitive skin. It says that it's made for delicate skin and it's allergy tested and 100% fragrance free, which is really nice. So I can highly recommend this one and I'm already going through a new bottle of these. I have used up the Dr. Organic Bioactive Skincare Organic Moroccan Argan Oil Skin Lotion. And if you have been following me here on my channel for years now, actually, I have been using this one so, so many and I've used so many bottles of these. However, I've kind of like gone away from them and I'm not really using it that much anymore. This is definitely a really great body moisturizer and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just not going to buy it right now. Um, oh. That's his dry shampoo, the fruity cheeky cherry scent. I love it. What more? I've used up the Courage, Courage, I'm not sure how to say that. Um, Eclat and Energy, Radiance and Energy. Serum number three. This is only a sample size, so I don't really feel like that I've been using it enough to actually tell and see the difference, but I really like how it made my skin feel and look when I wore my makeup, so probably sometime soon I'll try this one in the full size. 
I've used up some sample sizes of different Estee Lauder products. This one is the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging um, Cream. And this one is really good. Don't like the jar packaging, you know how I feel about that. But the actual product is really nice. And I've also got a little Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging Eye Cream. And I like this one as well. Once again, not too big of a fan of the jar packaging. And lastly, I've got the Advanced Night Eye Repair Serum. Really like this one. This is one of my favorite eye serums ever. And when you buy the full size, it comes with a pump as well. So this is love and I really want to buy it again, but it's so freaking expensive. <laughs> I've used up the Body Shop Glaze Apple Body Polish and I'm not gonna buy these again. I am not really the biggest fan of the Body Shop Body Polishes because I don't really feel like that they do too much on the skin. The scrubs in there, they're just very, very fine and I don't really feel like that they do anything on the skin. So I love the scent of this one, really, really enjoyed the scent. But the actual product, me, it's just not for me. Then I've used up two products from Pula Dorsonet and this one is the T-Zone Peeling and the AHA Serum. And I've actually already bought a new one of both of these and I really like them. They didn't break me out and they really exfoliate my skin really, really nicely while still taking good care of my skin. So if you're looking for some middle price exfoliators, these are definitely good. Also, I've used up the Clinique Super Rescue Antioxidant Night Moisturizer for very dry to dry skin and when I had my rash and so on, I used a um, retinol treatment and it was really, really stripping on my skin and this one definitely saved my skin so much. So if you've got really dry skin and dry patches on your skin, this is such a lovely cream and it's great for nighttime because it really hydrates the skin so nicely. I can't say enough good words about it. Once again, it's from Clinique. It's 100% fragrance free and just really good for you. So this one is so good and I can highly recommend it. I have used up two of the Q-Tex Strengthening Nail Polish Removers and these are fine. I've got a little size here and a big size and they're good, they're fine, they're nothing special really. They've got some kind of protein and pro-vitamin B5 in them as well so they are strengthening as well for the nails. At least they say so, I'm not sure. But yeah, they're fine, they're nothing special really and they're very inexpensive as well so... I've already bought a new one and they're fine, nothing special. What can I say? <laughs> I think it just get my neighbor. Moving on to some makeup. I've got the Max Factor Clum Defy and this one's Water Resistant Mascara. This is fine. I really, really like this one. It has been one of my favorite mascaras for years, actually. However, it's not my favorite anymore, but would I buy this one again? Probably, if it's on an offer, because I really like it. But my new favorite mascara, you probably all know it, it is my Lash Sensational Mascara and this one is from Maybelline and I've already bought a new one because I'm wearing it today. It's my favorite mascara and this one has actually held up so nicely. I've had it for so many months so I'm really really happy about how long it lasted me and it's just a really amazing mascara. If you haven't tried it, definitely do. I've also used up a little mini size of the Ico Skinny Mini Liquid Eyeliner in the color black comes with a felt tip and this one was fine, nothing special. I've got a new one from Ico that I really, really like. They actually dried out really, really quickly, so that was kind of like a disappointment. But I like the Ico Skinny Liquid Eyeliner, so it's fine. I've also used up the Anastasia Brow Wiz and this one's in the color taupe and I need to buy a new one. This is my absolute favorite brow pencil, at least one of them, because it is so fine in the tip. It's got a spoolie in one end and then the actual brush, you can't even see it. I just really love this one. I need to get a new one ASAP. Then I've used up two bottles of the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. However, I've heard some really nasty rumors about there's some kind of a thing in these that can cause cancer. And I'm just like, if that's true, I don't want to use them anymore. So please, if you guys know anything, let me know because I'm kind of worried. I've used up the Max Drop Cream. A really great moisturizing cream, it doesn't really do too much. It's like one of those creams that you just apply if you've got normal skin and yeah. I like the smell of it, I like how it makes my skin look. It doesn't really give too much moisture or anything like that, so it's fine. It's nothing special really, that's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't do wonders, but it's nice. Would I buy it again? Yeah, probably. I've also used up the Archery Brow Pencil from Soap & Glory. 
This is kind of like a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz and if you're on a budget, this one is definitely good. Definitely almost just as good as the Brow Wiz but just not as good. Close to but not all there. So I really like it and if I got the chance to buy it again, I probably would. Then I've also used up the Bobbi Brown Brush Cleansing Spray. My favorite cleanser for my brushes, definitely. It is so gentle and mild to the brushes however it really cleanses the brushes so nicely and so quick and so easy and then I've also got the Bioderma Sense Bio Eye um, this is an eye gel that you can use both morning and night and I liked it however I didn't see the bigger difference and it didn't really moisturize that much in my under eye area so I don't think that I want to buy it again because I just don't think it's worth the money if you get what I mean and Bioderma is so freaking expensive in Denmark so in Denmark at least, I wouldn't buy it again, but it's not a bad eye cream, it's just not the best that I've tried. And that was all, the bag is completely empty, that was all of my beauty empties for this time guys, and I really hope that you found this inspirational and helpful if you're looking for some new products to try out, and yeah, if you like looking through all of my beauty trash. Sounds kinda wrong, but yeah, thank you so very much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and all of that jazz, thank you for watching, and I love you all to the moon and right back to my heart. Bye! Why am I so weird? <laughs>